Welcome to Game Spotlight AI News Show. Here are the latest developments from the gaming industry. Just in time for Halloween, Red Barrels releases a chilling update for the Outlast Trials and offers insights on the game's anticipated console debut in early 2024. Red Barrels has introduced a new update for the Outlast Trials, featuring a new trial program, Geister, and a courthouse-themed map. Currently available in early access on both Steam and Epic Game Store, the game is set during the Cold War and sees players navigating trials set by the Murkoff Corporation. Responding to queries about a console version, Red Barrels confirmed they are working on ports for various consoles, aiming for an early 2024 release, with crossplay between console and PC, but without cross-progression. City Skylines 2 is expanding its immersive city-building experience, announcing the upcoming inclusion of eight diverse regional packs boasting over 2,500 new assets. City Skylines 2 is set to receive eight complementary regional packs, which will cover regions like China, East Europe, France, Germany, Japan, the East and West Coasts of the USA, and the UK. These additions will contribute more than 2,500 new assets to the game. The game's creators collaborated with various well-known developers to produce these packs. A teaser video provided a glimpse of these new assets, including a contemporary Chinese library. While the game's launch experienced some technical hitches, the publisher Paradox has clarified that these performance issues are not related to in-depth rendering details in the game. Fortnite hints at a nostalgic journey with the potential comeback of its first map, blending classic and recent gameplay elements. Fortnite appears to be preparing for a nostalgic touch in its upcoming updates, hinting at the reintroduction of its original map. The official Fortnite Twitter account recently teased the return of the classic Battle Bus, while Epic's vice president, Mark Rain, alluded to a rewind for the next season. Additional clues, like themed pins and a vinyl record showcasing the old lobby theme, have been sent to certain influencers further strengthening speculations about the return of the initial map. Although the game seems to be hearkening back to its roots, the mention of mechanics from later chapters indicates players can anticipate a blend of old and new features. Separately, Epic Games recently collaborated with Remedy Entertainment to present a mini version of the original Alan Wake. Originally slated for a free-to-play release, Disney Dreamlight Valley will now remain a paid game, with its official launch set for 5th of December, as revealed by developer Gameloft. Disney Dreamlight Valley, initially intended to be a free-to-play game, will continue as a paid game, according to developer Gameloft. Having been in early access for a year, the game has been accessible to those who purchased the Founders Packs or through Xbox Game Pass. A recent blog post on the official website revealed that the full release is set for 5th of December, and based on insights from the early access phase, the game will remain paid to ensure a premium experience. Gameloft emphasized its commitment to offering free content updates, while Moonstones and in-game currency can still be earned or purchased with real money. The developer also previewed that the game's first paid expansion is set to be showcased in a live stream on November 1st. The available Founders Packs will be discontinued after the game's full launch. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you for watching. Until next time.